Good afternoon, people of Holy Cross. I'm Pastor Nathan Hilkert, and I'm coming to you from Camp Luther Ranch in Tallapoosa, Georgia, where this week uh, the Hilkert family, the Willis family, the Rickle family, and Ryan Schmidt are all spending time this week uh, renewing and uh, retreating and growing in our faith and having fun together. This is uh, the weekly word with myself. This is my chance to check in with each of you to let you know what's happening in the life of our congregation and to invite you to reflect with me on this coming Sunday's gospel lesson. As far as news in our church goes, we received some good news this past weekend. Uh, The Paycheck Protection Loan Uh, that Holy Cross received from the federal government, like many, many other churches and organizations, has officially been forgiven. We expected that this would be the case, uh, and we're grateful that we received this grant, which enabled our church to continue employing our staff and paying our utilities during the shutdown last year. And because of your generosity as a church, we ended 2020 with a surplus, and our congregation will be using that surplus money to develop a new outreach ministry in partnership with organizations that we already partner with, like Family Promise and the Northeast Georgia Food Bank. We'll keep you updated on how that project, that ministry, is developing. Also wanted to let you know that we are beginning work on our audiovisual system updates. Uh, We're acquiring some new equipment and hopefully we'll be able to uh, start using that equipment in the very near future. Again, we'll keep you posted. We are continuing this next week, our third week of uh, intensive focus on the gospel of Mark. Uh, Mark is an interesting gospel. Mark more or less invented the genre of the gospel. And we see again and again Jesus challenging our notions of God and our notions of of who we are and what's uh, incumbent on us as disciples of Jesus. As we look ahead to this coming Sunday, which is the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, our gospel lesson is from the fourth chapter of Mark, verses 35 to 41. Listen with me to Mark's words. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to the disciples, Let us go across to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. And leaving the crowd, they took with them in the boat. They took him with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, this passage shows us once again the disciples uh, falling short, uh, not getting it right, uh, misunderstanding who Jesus is and and still questioning in their hearts uh, what his intentions toward them are. Notice that they say to him, do you not care that we are perishing? Uh, They seem to believe and to know that he is able to calm the storm. They just don't know what he intends for them. I think our gospel lesson this week shows us that our knowledge of God and our faithfulness as disciples takes a lifetime to unfold. Uh, Just as we heard last week, uh, we don't immediately come out of the gates as uh, the people that God wants us to be. We don't come out of the waters of baptism uh, sinless and full of perfect faith. 
uh, but we walk through this life following behind Jesus and learning all the things that he has to teach us. Uh, we uh, continue this life as a, as a journey, as a pilgrimage, as a, a life that is lived on the way. I pray that as we walk together through this life, uh, we will be patient with one another, patient with ourselves, and patient with our Lord, who still has much to teach us. Let's pray together. Gracious God, we give you thanks that you have much to teach us. Help us to patiently avail ourselves to your instruction and to trust that your intentions for us are good. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.